So, I made it up to Ryu, because I decided to play Ryu, because, you know, Mega Man vs. Street Fighter. Of course I'm going to play against Ryu, because, goddamn, I want the Hadouken. Um, and, spoiler, probably the next watch we fail. What? Oh. I don't even know what challenge I just did, but cool, I got challenged. Um, that's magical. I might actually save them. Um, Um, God, I helped a lot, because I totally lose track of, like, anything I was saying before. I'm just gonna sit over here and pass that now. I got up to Ryu, and then Ryu just basically kicked my ass. Like, I kept getting back to him, because apparently that game is not that hard, from what I've seen. From what I played, it wasn't really that hard to get through. That was fancy. In my pregame, I never even made it up this far, like... I know it only takes two shots to kill these guys, and it's just... I'll just lead him over to his death. Cool. Um... Shoot him from here. Like I said, I have played through this level a couple times now, just because... I wanted to practice a little bit before coming in here. I'm not making myself look like such a complete noob, but... I actually did not practice this part. Uh, I'm scared though, because I know I'm not going to make this jump that well. Ooh, I made it. Okay, cool. I think I made it to this before, like, the first time I played this. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Ow, oh, what? What? Get the fuck out of here. Ugh, damn it, Shadow King, get out of my freaking screen, man. Um, I should probably delete that. Well, disable that while I'm recording, but. No, Mega Man, you're gonna get humbled. Um, wish there was like a cheat for this or something. I'm gonna die. Um. Could have used Rush. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll think about that a little bit. Um. Wow, that was pretty skillful. You won't see me do that again. But it also is a little bit easier because I can. You can actually charge the Mega Buster in that game. Like. Like, from the start. Which I newbishly found out, like, after playing for, like, a couple minutes. I'm like, I can just charge it, cool. And this one, you know, I'm holding down the fire button right now, and it's just not charging, and unless there's some kind of secret that I don't know about. Which, <laughs> if there is, feel free, feel free to tell me. Um, not that I'm gonna play this game after this recording, anyway. Um, by the way, this is probably about the second episode now the second part. I do split them up into parts. I like recording things and having footage for a while. And if you don't like that, if you don't like the fact that we do that, uh, I apologize. But I don't have the patience to record fresh material all the time. And I don't necessarily have the time. Because, I mean, if this was my job, okay, that'd be one thing. But it is not. So, now, fuck you. So I just kind of record in big chunks and split it up accordingly, which is why sometimes you'll just see kind of like you see my videos not necessarily end on a proper note, but that's because I didn't really plan that. All right. Ah, oh, you dick! I knew what I had to do there, and I just messed up. Mainly because this isn't Mario physics. If that was Mario physics, I would be fine. Just, just throwing that out there, but as an NES kid, I know Mario physics like the back of my hand. Is it a Mario game? But I know the physics of it. That's, that's just how it works. Mega Man? I have no clue. Like, he feels weird to me, but... I actually really want to go back and play the Battle of the Games. Gotta play 3 again, man. That was so good. That was such a great game. I know that 
there's gonna be some Mega Man purists out there that'll be like, what are you playing that trash for? And be like, you know what? Mega Man wanted that trash, so get on my level. Let me go back and grab that one of the Um Oh, okay, just give me another one, that's cool, make me look like a fool. Whatever game. Whatever Mr. Inafune. And yeah, by the way, if you guys didn't know Inafune left. Capcom to go pursue other things, because he basically said that the Japanese um, developers are all stupid, like little twats, so I'm going to paraphrase a little bit, but he might as well have said that. Um, I'm paraphrasing into my own American language. Um, so if you guys have a Vita, and uh, you've heard of a game called Soul Sacrifice, yeah, that's by him. Um, but ever since he left, Capcom has been basically just shitting on Mega Man and not putting him in anything. Because they're like, oh, well, Inafune left, so... Hey, remember that Mega Man Legends 3 game that I personally have no attachment for, but a lot of people do? Oh, well, you know what? Screw, screw that. Inafune left us, so we're not gonna that game anymore, even though all the people in the world were contributing to that game to make it a big success. Um, and actually, one of my real life friends was very attached to that game, and he was actually trying to work on the games and stuff on the official site or whatever that they were working with. And of course, as I'm talking, I die, but. I have one more life? No, wait, I got a bunch of lives. Hold on. Getting a little bug. Uh, nope. I have no other lives besides this. I don't know what any of this shit means except for that being rush. And, uh, I think it's really nice that the game gives you rush for no real reason. Although I could not understand why. And whatever, I just took some damage with them. I'll just get that. You know what really makes me crazy, like, freaks me out, is how people play, like, these Mega Man games and not die, and, like, they can run through this whole thing. And I guess it's kind of like Contra, where you literally just memorize everything, you know exactly how everything's gonna work, you know the patterns, you know, like, like, you know everything about the game. And I guess when you know that much about a game, you're not gonna fail, like, you're not gonna miss anything, you know exactly what to do, you know when to jump, you know when to... I mean, it's like, um, I saw, like, some speed gamers or whatever, and they were, and it was, like, some band, too, and they were just playing, um, the guy was playing through Mega Man 2, and they were playing the background music for him as he played, because, like, he could play the game so predictably in such a fast, like, fast fashion that they had the band play all the background music, and all this, make all the sounds for all the characters just on fucking point now. Thing. It was just, it was amazing to watch, and, I mean, like, I'm jealous of that on many levels, I mean, the fact that you can play a game that, like, seriously, <laughs> alright, whatever, I just died there, I'm done, um, done with this one. <sighs> alright, well, game over there. We'll go to Hornet Man next.